Spinner, you're on Pen Stack channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Lansen, and today we will master a pen spinning element from a nice pen spinning combo made by Zephyr. Yeah, Um, it was actually for a CV that I got invited to, a collaboration video. Uh, it was by Knife. It's for his birthday CV. I made that combo, making sure it's special. <laughs> I used the best linkages I had at that time. In particular, today we will make our focus laser sharp on this part. <laughs> Definitely this mini combo looks much better when you spend a lot of time on mastering it. Then you can do it smooth and cool like Zephyr. And at the beginning it will look like, like I did. Actually, at the beginning it will look like this at the best. Look at this. Uh, then let's call it a schwock. So the schwock is pretty much, I do a normal charge of palm down. And then once you get here, you mm. suspend it with 3-4 until mm -hmm. you're, ho you're essentially holding it like this. You do charge in 2-3, palm down, keeping most of the weight of pen from outer side of hand. Then when you curve fingers, you need to slide two off the barrel of your pen and turn hand palm up. At first I practiced it like this, like Zephyr showed. It helped me a lot to get the motion. And after that you don't need to straighten fingers, you need to turn hand palm up and let pen fall on two and stop it by one. So you go like that and then you chuck it into one two. And try to make it so that by the end of the trick, most of weight of your pen will be from outer hand side. Half of charge reverse in 1-2, and we will need to, to do a pass from 1-2 to 2-3, like this charged pass. What? After a while, Zephyr asked Mumi for a more accurate breakdown for the combo and sent it to me in Discord. Guys! And girls, I don't know why I called it the strict finger pass in charge motion, it is clearly twisted sonic reverse. Knowing this may make it easier for you to master, just do twisted sonic reverse 1, 2, 2, 3. Now we do charge reverse in 1, 2 and let smaller tip fall on 3, then we continue this charge reverse in 2, 3 and uh, the hard part is coming up. Now just straight to the point, that part. That can show it closer because yeah, because of FPS. How about I film it? Like I record it on my phone. There we go, like that. I have flexible fingers so I can pretty much fill up my thumb like that. <laughs> so yes, first I will recommend you to stop pen like this, like Zephyr showed. You can start in charge reverse to three palm down. Uh, so make sure that uh, the pen spins clockwise because palm down normal charge is clockwise. Once it's like parallel to the ground, you let go from two three and then you kind of let it up like that. So the Zephyr recommended to lead pen on thumb and stay it like this, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. It takes practice. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Keep it so that the rotation is the same. Really, you're keeping it horizontal the whole way. The position of your hand is like almost pointing down. Maybe I needed much more practicing. Maybe I needed much more flexible and long thumb. Anyway, I couldn't do anything about that until I tried another way of learning this element. I started from previous trick to give mode more inertia and what's more important, instead of trying to lay mode on thumb, I began to throw it on finger from 2-3, pushing it with 2. And finally, it worked. You know this excitement when you do the motion right for the first time. One of the best feelings a pen spinner can experience. And this motion, this link, becomes uh, more of a power element. I wish you good luck with this mini combo. For sure, don't be afraid of it. It just looks easier than it really is. <laughs> yeah, take your time, develop your style, may the style be with you. Bye.